See what I told you? I told you his goal was to eat 100 muffins. He's getting there. But anyways, here to pick up Gavin. So take him to the airport, dropped off Lucas, and uh, yep. See what we uh, can get into today in Atlanta. Also, who doesn't enjoy a good sunrise? Okay, so I'm actually here in Atlanta right now. I just finished dropping Gavin off at the airport and I'm actually driving around. I stopped in a quick little parking lot just to, so I could record this portion, but I'm actually gonna be looking for some parking real fast and then gonna walk around and uh, see what I can get into for just a little while. So this ought to be a whole lot of fun. So here we go. Okay, so I went ahead and just uh, pulled over, stopped for just a moment so I could, uh... so I'm about six miles out right now from Passion City Church and I'm, um, I, I thought that uh, today would be a good day for me to overcome one of my fears, and that's uh, a fear of, you know, kind of rejection of, you know, not taking that leap of faith just because I'm afraid of getting embarrassed or saying no. So this is kind of that uh, that step in that direction. So I want to give them a call. Um, it doesn't matter whether they say yes or no. I just want to know that I made the phone call to see if maybe I can meet with them, meet with one of the worship leaders, and, uh, you know, just get a couple words real fast before I... Uh, head back home. So let me make that phone call real fast and be right back. Uh, hello, my name is Monty Holt. I'm a uh, worship leader from the Augusta area on uh, from uh, Fort Gordon, Georgia over in Augusta. And I was just uh, giving y'all a call today. I was wanting to see if there would be a possibility. I just happened to be in Atlanta. And I just want to see if there was a possibility of me uh, stopping by and if any worship leaders were available possibly to just talk to for five to ten minutes. Um, just to pick their brains for a couple of minutes and uh, talk with them. But uh, if you could, just give me a call back. My number is... And if there is a better way for me to kind of get a hold of y'all or to set up a meeting or anything like that just uh let me know again that number is thank you god bless take care okay so i did the first part i left a message i didn't get to actually talk to anyone but that's a good first step so now i'm just gonna kind of uh wait and uh see what happens from from there i was very nervous on the phone i could tell i was kind of rambling on doing my uh you know this thing but uh yeah we'll see what happens and you know you never know okay so i figured uh while i was waiting for them to call back i'd uh, take a walk around one of my uh, favorite stores in the world yeah so i'm not gonna do a whole thing on uh, these delicious Swedish meatballs right now, but this is kind of a step in the right direction of me overcoming my fears of vlogging in public. <laughs> lots of weird stares, lots of people looking at me in awkward ways, but this is a step in the right direction to help me overcome and get over my shyness and all that fun stuff. So, now to eat. Although, y'all do need a little bit of a montage for the delicious food, right? Right? This might have been my uh, cheapest uh, IKEA trip ever. Came with, made with a pair of slippers and meatballs. That's a uh, well done. So dark. So sadly, I didn't get a call back from uh, Passion City Church, but I got to come to IKEA, got me a pair of slippers, got me some Swedish meatballs, and now we're back on the road. So here we go.